Welcome everyone to this short tutorial on how to configure your D-Link DIR615 router to allow access to the IPv6 version of the websites. So as we all know the latest version of internet is IPv6 so first we need to configure a tunnel broker service for accessing the IPv6 internet. So first what you need to do is go to Hurricane Electric website and their tunnel broker service www.tunnelbroker.net so after you go there you have to register a new account with your email ID and a password so let's log in so after you log in for the first time you need to create a tunnel so how to create a tunnel just click on create regular tunnel and give a name to your tunnel select the nearest location of the tunnel server so from my end it will be Singapore then press create tunnel so after your tunnel is created you will be assigned a tunnel and a routed slash 64 address so press on the tunnel name and as you can see all the details are listed up here then we'll move on to our dealing dir615 admin page so let's log into the router okay so uh, for many of you the firmware version will be 5.10 and since i have updated my firmware recently you should also update your firmware to the latest version so then go to IPv6 click on manual IPv6 internet connection setup after that select IPv6 in IPv4 tunnel then in remote IPv4 address put in the server IPv4 address then in remote IPv6 address put in the server IPv6 address then in local IPv4 address the local LAN IP of your system will be shown in the local IPv6 address put in the client IPv6 address now in the DNS section I am using the Google's IPv6 DNS that is the Google's public DNS servers you can find it in the Google website and then coming down here remove the check mark from DHCP PD and in the LAN IPv6 address put in the routed slash 64 address assigned to you if you see this area blank then press on assign slash 64 address and uh, address will be generated note that you have to copy this address and then put either one or two as you want in the LAN IPv6 address section after that keep all the settings to their default press save settings and exit now in your Windows system go to your network properties then change adapter settings then on Ethernet properties make sure IPv6 is checked then click on properties and click obtain IPv6 address automatically and obtain the DNS server addresses automatically press on OK and let's see if we can ping our IPv6 server ping space google.com space minus t so as you can see we can access the IPv6 version of the website and we can ping successfully so let's test run if we can have the IPv6 connectivity or not so go to go to test dash ipv6.com press enter so as you can see our tunnel provider is Hurricane and our local ISP is Alliance and we get a 10 out of 10 rating for our IPv6 connectivity. That's it. Thanks for watching my video.